Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and this is another shortwave for beginner videos and uh, in this video we're going to talk about something that is um, you know to improve reception so we talked about the telescopic antenna that for most receivers the uh, telescopic is fine but in some circumstances you might want to have more signals in some circumstances, the fact that it's noisy inside might want you to find alternatives. And when we talk about antennas, well, the first antenna that we talk about, which is probably, for most people, the only antenna they'll ever need and the cheapest antenna you'll ever have, and it's called the wire antenna. Now here it says long wire, but a long wire needs to be very, very long, more than a hundred feet, I believe, to be called a long wire. So in general, we it's more of a wire antenna. What's a wire antenna? It's a simple wire that's hooked to the radio, and that's it. Nothing complicated. Um, unfortunately, you know, often uh, for a lot of people, the uh, when they look at antennas and stuff, it, it looks complicated, and and they're not sure that they can do it, and. Well, a wire antenna is so simple. You can just throw it out a window, for example. Um, you know, look at your environment. Can you put a little wire outside? Do you have a tree nearby that you can actually maybe hang a wire to it? Uh, sometimes if your tree, if you don't want to climb the tree, what you could do is, you know, put a little weight uh, uh, at the end of the wire and swing it into the tree and a branch or stuff like that. It's the simplest form of antenna. It's the cheapest form of antenna. And if you live in a quiet environment, probably the only one you'll ever want and ever need. The rule of a wire antenna is the longer the better. But remember that a lot of, uh, if you have portable receivers, a lot of portable receivers have a hard time with very long antennas as they often will overload as they are not designed to be used with such big antennas. But desktop receivers will will enjoy having a, a good wire antenna. So that's the first antenna you should actually uh, look at because I see a lot of people, uh, including in the Facebook group, that say, well, you know, what's the best antenna I could buy? Well, you know what? I am not much of a let's buy an antenna guy. I am more of let's try different things with you know with stuff we probably have at home for example wire what kind of wire that's also questions that come all the time it's like well what kind of wire and what size and uh, does it have to be insulated and, and so on there's that's too many questions remember just one thing the wire antenna is a simple wire the size of the wire doesn't matter it's mostly the length of the wire that will be um, important and where it will be positioned, meaning that there are areas outside where maybe you'll see that it will get more noise than signals. Maybe you'll put it in a different angle and see that there's less noise and more signal. It's experimenting with the wire itself. How do you hook it up to the radio? Well, the simplest way to hook it up is simply put the wire at, on the telescopic of the radio. Uh, simply clip it to the telescopic. Uh, some radios have a dedicated, um, you know, antenna jacks that you can use. And uh, basically, just experiment. And it doesn't matter, like I said. It's best if it's insulated for a very simple reason. Outside with the rain, the sun, and all of that, it's going to be better. It's, you know, because there's corrosion that happens on metals. Also, by having it uh, insulated, it will, of course, be, uh, you know, um, be okay if you have to, to pass it through a metal window or something like that because it won't touch the metal of the window. It will be insulated from it. Just experiment. Just throw a wire outside. Just uh, hang one in a tree. Check it out. See what it does. See how it improves the signal. But that is the simplest antenna. And before buying anything, that is the first thing you should do first thing you should try any type of you know copper uh, steel wire whatever aluminum is fine you probably have some already in your home that maybe is lying around doing nothing speaker wire 
doesn't matter once again as long as you have a wire it's the only thing get a certain length of wire and that's it if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching